The Canadian city of Edmonton puts the finishing touches to the stadium where the Women's World Cup will be played out. But efforts by the organisers to shift the focus away from the scandals surrounding FIFA and whether bribery was involved aren't working. The second demand? No, absolutely not. No. For this World Cup, absolutely not. We made a bid and we were the only country to do so. Absolutely not. Over in Ireland, World Soccer's governing bodies confirmed it paid the country's football association more than $5 million to avoid a legal battle. Ireland lost its chance to play in the 2010 World Cup after a decisive goal in a vital playoff came in extra time through a handball by Thierry Henry. The head of Ireland's football association says FIFA paid up to stop the issue going to court. It came to an agreement. Uh, that was a Thursday and on Monday the, the agreement was all signed and all done. Um, it's a very good agreement for the FAI, a very legitimate agreement for the FAI. I'm bound by confidentiality for naming the figure. You've put a figure out there, right. and, and fair play to you. In yet another twist, South Africa, which hosted the 2010 World Cup, has launched a police inquiry into an alleged bribe to a FIFA executive to secure the event. South African sports officials acknowledge they approved a $10 million payment but insist it was a donation for development projects. The country's elite Hawks police unit is investigating but says it's not formal at this stage. There is no a formal investigation regarding the FIFA uh, issues uh, but it's just an inquiry that we are doing whether uh, there is something that we can look into or not. Uh. Fourteen FIFA officials and corporate executives have been charged by U.S. investigators over bribes totaling more than $150 million.